What if I told you we've just won the league with Inter with 99 points? Meh, no big deal. It's Inter, right? But then look closer. How about a goal difference of 105, only conceding 19? Now you're interested, right? And Lukaku scores 55 in the league. And he only started 28 matches? Now, do you want to know more? Oh, and last thing, the entire season we played a lower defensive line. Okay dudes, this is not just a normal tactic video. I'm gonna show you what we did with Inter and the tactic, but I'm also gonna show you how I adapted it for Bologna to get them a good finish, and I'm gonna show you how I adapted it for Mansfield in League Two as well. There's gonna be a couple of role changes in each version of the tactic, so it's worth seeing. So as you can see from the intro, Inter absolutely killed it. We killed it, but it's Inter Milan, I get that, but the performance is still really impressive when you see that winning 32 out of 38, scoring 124 and only conceding 19. That right there is the best goal difference I think I've ever had in FM. Yes! And I showed you Lukaku and what he got up to, and the truth is, he didn't even start every match. I rotated him with Lord Toro, but he scored 55 in 28, and overall, with all the other competitions, 70 goals for the season from 42 starts. Lord Toro, by the way, playing that advanced forward and shadow striker, so half and half, really, he banged in 21 in 34, 23 for the season, so you're going to score loads of goals, but I think it's more impressive that we only conceded the 19. And trust me, this is down to this. It's down to this. We went with a lower defensive line. If you have a little closer look, there's a cautious mentality as well, but we'll get onto that. But we went with a lower defensive line, and it worked a treat. So here is version one of the tactic. Now, like I said, when we get to the other teams, you can see the difference. So let's call this the version for a really good team, a team you're happy with, and one you want to go for titles. This one was superb. Two inside forwards on attack, a shadow. In effect, you've got four up front there. Two inside forwards, a shadow striker, and an advanced forward. Now, holding it all together is two ball wing midfielders. Not something seen too often, two of them, but together they work really well. And you've got wing backs bombing on as well. So you can see how important the ball winners are. Now, with all versions for this tactic, I'm going to show you with the other teams. One thing stays the same, and it's these down this side. The team instructions will stay the same all the time. You see, mentality is cautious. And combining that with a lower defensive line, I don't think you're gonna see that much in FM from many people, but we tried it and it worked a treat. Now, because we've got this low defensive line, so the boys are far back, to get them together, you'd think we'd play direct, but we're playing short, but we're adding in PIs, which we'll get onto later on, but nearly all of them have dribble more. That's because when they get the ball, if these guys are marooned high up the pitch because they're pressing high, the dribble more will help them get further up before making the pass. So rather than having a low defensive line and a low block, I feel like that just encourages teams onto you far too much. We've gone the other way, where we're gonna press them high, but sit back as well, to hopefully eliminate those balls over the top that seem really common in FM. This has worked the treat. And in fact, the biggest amount of goals we've conceded have actually came from crosses. So I guess that's the trade-off. When we're dropping a little bit deeper, it's going to leave the wide areas a bit more open. And we conceded most of our goals from crosses and corners. I say most. They only conceded 19 in the league. Now, when you look at that formation, it looks like a 4-2-3-1 deeper. But because it's so aggressive, you might as well think of it as a 4-2-4. Martinez is going to spend most of the time in there, jumping up and down, jumping up and down. In fact, the two positions where I think you should experiment, and I'm urging you to experiment, is possibly the number 10 role and the two defensive midfield roles. I'm not totally set on keeping them as ball win midfielders. In fact, I'll show you version two shortly, but these roles can be experimented with to fit your team. So that is version one. I say I played about 70% of the season with that one. The rest of the time, we played it with this one. You can see there's a couple of role changes here and there. One of the inside forwards drops the inverted winger. One of the defensive midfielders switches to a deep line playmaker on defend and the wing backs switch to full backs on attack. The player instructions all stay exactly the same. All the same player instructions are the same for the roles. There's just a couple of tweaks in the roles and that's what I'm saying to you. The most important thing about this formation is the layout and the team instructions. The roles you can get a bit funky with to suit your team. So all hail that, Inter Milan absolutely ripped it up. What about the other teams? So Mansfield in League Two in England. 
And there we see it, they are promoted with 101 points. They only lost three matches. It was only a stonking season for Bradford City that stopped them winning the league, but to only lose three matches out of 46 in League Two, anyone who's done that in League Two will know that's a tough league. Magnifique. It's unbelievable, Jeff! Now, like I said, the Inter Milan is an elite team, so when you've got a strong team, we know it's going to work forward and back. With Mansfield, who are a pretty middle-of-the-road League 2 side, we scored 95, conceded 42, so not as effective, but still blooming effective, only losing that three matches. So for Mansfield, that is the version we use. You can see the tweaks were the shadow striker changed to attacking midfielder and the fullbacks were fullbacks throughout, purely because the wingbacks weren't good enough to basically act as wingers from that side. So I dropped them to fullback. It still did the business, not as amazingly as the Inter Milan one, but hey, it's Inter Milan and this is Mansfield. Still, what a result. In fact, there were some times when it clicked, it really clicked. Like this game, away to Grimsby, your eyes do not deceive you in the top corner. It finished 9-1, and Grimsby did not have man sent off. We just absolutely bulldozed him. As I reflect on the campaign, you can see the start of the season, we didn't lose up until the Bradford City game, and then we just continued to lose to Man City under-21s in the EFL Trophy. Fine, but we did decently in the um, Cups as well. We got to the fourth round of the League Cup, losing to Norwich. And in the FA Cup, we beat Sheffield United away from home finally losing to Palace away from home but only 2-0 I mean that is a pretty damn decent season right any other season to win the league but Bradford just won so many matches but still 101 points so we've got results with Inter we've got results with Mansfield I then did a full playthrough season with Bologna so there it is there's the season with Bologna what result finishing fifth nearly getting to the Champions League and only losing seven times pretty damn good season if we look at it in more detail, remember this is the same league that we absolutely destroyed it with Inter Milan. We came fifth, we scored 55, and we conceded just 29. I think it's like the second or third best defensive record. But look at the difference. Same layout, same formation, same league, we scored 55, whereas Inter Milan, an elite team, scored 130. So you can see the levels, and it all depends on what player you've got, but you can still make the formation work to whatever team you're working with. Lukaku in this team was Marko Anatovic, who bagged 26 in the league. Damn good in Serie A. And the tweaks for this one were the inverted winger, Orsolini. He was on support because I wanted him to drop off because he's the most creative force. So he dropped off a little bit. Wingbacks were set as fullbacks on attack. And the ball with midfielder was set to defence and hold a bit because we're not as good as a lot of teams in Serie A. One change to the team instructions was stop crosses because the goals we were conceding, we were all coming from wide, like I said before. So we experimented with Bologna, we've stopped crosses, and it seemed to do the business. I think a fifth place is not a bad result. Especially when the season preview had us down at 12 behind all the big teams, so well happy with that. Right then, so player instructions will be coming up at the end of the video for all you PS5 users in the house. Hope you're about Xbox users or anyone who simply is not a member of the Manager Seat Discord or my YouTube members channel. They get it on direct download. But it's all going to be there in the video. Enjoy it. There's three versions to remember, but the player instructions are all the same. And before we go any further, I do have a word of caution. The one team that I did sim this with, so holiday through with it, was Everton. So remember, Inter won the league, Mansfield over 100 points, Bologna finished fifth. I played those seasons. When I holidayed it with Everton, ah, finished 12th. Pretty naff. So make what you will with that, but playing with it and then watching it in March, it helps you do the tweaks that you need to. If you're just going to holiday through, it might not be the tactic for you. 